Hi YouTube, Eden Roy here and uh, this time I will be doing a very quick video on how to install your custom ROMs. Now first of all, I am just starting up. First of all, um, you need to install Clockwork Mod Recovery um, and I am sure you have seen my previous video just in case you haven't or you have missed it somehow. Uh, the link is right here. Here is the link or you can find the link in the description as well and having said that I just I'm just going to now for installing a custom ROM you need to have clockwork mod installed and I'm just going to start my phone in recovery mode and show you how to install a custom ROM now in this video I'm installing the latest vanilla ROM by Brasme and the previous version of this ROM, I really loved the theme. I am wishing and hoping that this might also have the same theme. I haven't tried the new one actually. So let's start with it. Here I am. Uh, I pressed my home button and the power key to go into the um, recovery mode. And I have to wait for the Samsung logo to blink twice. And the second one and then I leave. There. And it starts now what you have to do to, before you install a ROM you do a wipe data and reset just do it it's doing it okay now wipe cashier partition and and you go to install zip from SD card do that you should have the ROM that you want to install on your SD card um, in any folder or on the root of it choose zip from SD card that I did I have it in my custom ROMs folder and here is the file oh sorry that this here is the file ginger ROM generic ROM file and that is how I install it I press the button and I do an installation and it is actually installing the file now I will be waiting to install I want to I want you guys to be with me throughout this process because it's scary for some people it was for me to begin with of course because I never did that but now I do it all the time so it's pretty handy I'll just get back after this thing. Oh, this is working. I thought it will take more time. Oh, this is actually done. Installed from SD card complete. Now you go back on the main screen. Oops. And you wipe cache partition again. Repeat the first steps again. And wipe data and reset it. Yes, delete all data. This is actually the internal storage data, so you don't have to worry about your SD card right now. Uh, but what I want to do is because I have to show you a couple of things. What I want to do, I already have an EXE 3 partition um, in my uh, SD card right now. So I want to, I want to, I want to, want to my SD EXT partition because I'll be showing you of the reason I love this ROM the most is that it has dark tremors app to SD which actually cleans so much of your internal memory you are going to love your phone after that and I'm going to reboot my system now and I just did so let's see now the first uh, boot will always take time so you need to be patient about it don't worry it will take time and I'm going to be back when this will be booted up I'm just going to show you the uh, boot animation right now now the first thing there are few changes in as the phone starts you will just notice is then uh, the Samsung logo that you just saw it does not have any intro sound in it anymore uh, press me have removed it and the second thing is going to be your new boot animation that you're going to see um, this is totally natural and normal don't worry about it don't panic 
it happens because you know your SD card is being read and all that data is accumulated and all that thing. So it's everything that is happening to the phone is totally normal. The first boot takes good time. Don't worry. Don't think that you're stuck on screen. If you have these steps, if you have cleared your cache and you have wiped your data, you are safe. Don't worry about it. This is the cool Android animation I was talking about earlier when I did the backup thing with titanium uh, video. And now I'm going to be back when my phone actually starts. Cool, so my phone has actually started. This is the first screen that you see. Um, the default language is English, which is what we want. And they have given us two launchers, Zeem and Samsung Home. Let's just go with Zeem. This is your first screen you see, and this is the app drawer. The Zeem has a vertical app drawer. I can actually make use of Samsung Home as well. This is my Samsung Home. Put my phone into aeroplane mode so that nobody disturbs me meanwhile. Anyway, yeah. So this is actually this is it these are your menus it is already pre-rooted uh, just when I've installed it and the awesome thing that I'm going to show you right now first of all I'll go to my settings just to show you guys how much storage I have available I have 46 MB used and 133 MB free in my internal memory now what I am going to do see check that out that is going to be the awesome thing you have your A to SD GUI you open it up you need to make sure it, it must be allowed so you allow it you need to make sure you have uh, a partition on your SD card EXT3 is what um, apps to SD uh, uses and the process is actually the same uh, to make any partition EXT2 or 3 and you continue it you go to Delvic Cache and you do Delvic Cache on SD EXT and you do move we have different options move, move and rebuild Rebuild application and all that. So what I do is I move and rebuild, and it says Are you sure? I do. Are you sure? Now this application might um, say for slows and all that. Don't worry about it. It will reboot your system and it's going to be all right. I just have to show you. Um, sorry, I just have to show you what it does to the memory. I. I am loving this ROM for that so badly. I am just loving this ROM for that. And here I go, my system starting. Oh, this is the second time I am booting it, so I am hoping and wishing it would boot a bit faster. By the way, this ROM is also fast, and you have your different kernels uh, to overclock your ROM, which is like nice. That is what we all want, right? But just make sure. When you overclock your ROM, okay, this is cool, that started. When you overclock your ROM, you are putting your battery life at stake and your hardware at stake. So make sure you don't just burn your hardware with that. Okay, now I have moved my uh, Delvec cache to the um, EXT partition. Now I'm going to show you. I was going to update. Now I'm just going to show you the space thing. See? This is 6.3 MB used and 172 MB free. How freaking awesome is that? I mean seriously, how freaking awesome is that? So now when I'm going to put all my applications back using Titanium Backup, um, that is it. That is what I wanted in my mobile phone since ever. I mean, come on, you're getting so much internal storage now. And yeah that is what I wanted to show you what else let's see what else can I show you oh yeah it has this cool screen animation uh, which I think I need to um, I do this all animation thing then it will be everything will be animated and this thing that we all are pretty fond of and that is about it actually so catch you later after I make it my own. I have to customize it a lot. I have just installed it so I need to customize it a lot. And thank you for watching my video. Please share, comment 
and subscribe bye